Prima di Baghdad il personale dell'ONU veramente non era a rischio, non, è, non c'erano le minacce dirette che abbiamo adesso. Adesso purtroppo le minacce sono molto dirette. Il, L'ONU è diventato un target? Sì, non c'è più la sicurezza della bandiera blu. Per noi la cosa più importante è di aiutare i nostri colleghi umanitari, altri che lavorano soprattutto nelle zone di guerra, come poter aiutarsi, rimanere in vita, fare il lavoro senza pericolo. There is no more important responsibility for me as Secretary General than to ensure the protection of my staff. Those talented and dedicated men and women carry out vital missions of development and peace throughout the world, in always challenging and sometimes hostile circumstances. They need, and indeed deserve, the best possible safety and security. In November 2004, UN Secretary General Kofi Annan responds to escalating episodes of violence against United Nations personnel and assets by suggesting a number of measures to guarantee the safety and security of 100,000 UN officials. As a result, the number of security personnel is increased and the United Nations Department of Safety and Security is established in New York in 2005. A year later, in Turin, the United Nations System Staff College and the UN Department of Safety and Security jointly design the key elements of a training program called SAFE, Safe and Secure Approaches in Field Environments. The initial goal of the SAFE program is to create a system-wide standard learning curriculum to increase safety and security awareness of UN and associated personnel. The SAFE program can be easily tailored to different contexts and combines theory and practice. In order to deliver the SAFE curriculum, the UNSSC and the UNDSS simultaneously design and develop a training of trainers program that uses the same methodology and modular approach. Radio communications, incident management and first aid, mines and weapons awareness, travel and convoy security, background and culture, UN Security Management System, Personal Security, Hostage Survival. The SAFE training aims to create a solid, well-prepared and efficient pool of UN security personnel, equipped with all of the necessary skills and tools to train the thousands of UN and associated staff operating worldwide. La Brigata Alpina Taurinense partecipa nel campo della sicurezza, mettendo a disposizione l'esperienza ultradecennale che ha acquisito eh, nelle missioni e nei teatri operativi della, dei Balcani, della Bosnia, del eh, Mozambico e dell'Afghanistan ultimamente. Per noi è importantissimo perché noi eh, diamo e riceviamo, noi mettiamo a disposizione la nostra esperienza, ma riceviamo anche quelle che sono le procedure e le, e le, e le, le modalità di impiego che utilizzano le Nazioni Unite in situazioni di crisi di emergenza, quindi è uno scambio. The Regione Piemonte, the Compagnia di San Paolo, the Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs are the main financial supporters of the SAFE project. In June 2007 in Turin, the UN System Staff College and the UN Department of Safety and Security organized the first SAFE training of trainers course, attended by 20 security officers from UN agencies, funds and programs operating in 15 countries. Over six days, participants take part in theoretical lessons and group work. A full day is devoted to a practical field exercise engaging participants in realistic emergency and dangerous situations simulated by Italian army experts from the Brigata Alpina Taurinense. Since June 2007, 11 more training of trainers have been organized, seven of which in Turin and the rest in the field. A total of 312 people have been trained and are now qualified to deliver the safe training course at their duty stations. To date, 10,000 UN and associated officials working in some of the most dangerous areas of the world have attended the safety and security courses organized by these 312 safe trainers. In the coming years, the UN System Staff College will continue to support the SAFE project with the aim of establishing in Turin a dedicated safety and security training center as part of the UN Staff College as the focal point for all safety and security training within the UN. That was a 
FAO. El miércoles por la noche y el jueves comenzamos con este ejercicio que ha sido muy útil para la vida práctica y también para el trabajo nuestro porque han sido situaciones que se nos pueden presentar en cualquier viaje. This one helps you in your life in general also to get a good uh, behavior in case of uh, emergency accident in your life. So I'm really grateful that I attend and I'm really grateful that uh, what had been given us was valuable and I really liked it and I'm really thanking to whoever organized this uh, training. And this has been a very useful exercise to prepare people to confront difficult situations and unexpected situations, especially when you are abroad. This has been a very wonderful, wonderful experience. We have shared a lot of knowledge and especially that uh, sharing this information or this knowledge in, within the field has been uh, something wonderful. It's mandatory. You need to have be to be able to survive on the field. Fue bastante bueno, fue muy completo y realmente no solamente nos capacitó, sino que nos hizo aprender mucho sobre el control que podemos tener ya personalmente sobre cada una de las situaciones de emergencia que se nos puedan presentar en el trabajo. Uh, my observation is, uh, I think it was really a very good and uh, useful training. They need, and indeed deserve, the best possible safety and security.